Every year, the Assassin's Creed series struggles with the question of how strongly it should lean into its now convoluted lore. Assassin's Creed Syndicate chooses wisely and pushes a lot of that baggage into the background. That largely leaves it freed up to make the most of Victorian London and have fun with sneaking, climbing, and stabbing. Twin assassins Evie and Jacob Fry are both extremely likable, well-drawn protagonists, and the interaction between the two is laced with a lively sibling rivalry that brings levity to otherwise earnest cutscenes. You can freely switch between Jacob and Evie at most points, with side missions and open-world activities open equally to both. Campaign missions, however, are different, with Jacob taking the lead in the majority of the core assassinations. Unlike his sister, he isn't interested in exploring forgotten tombs in search of relics like a good assassin. He wants to liberate London from its oppressors, and to be blunt, Syndicate is a much better and more distinct experience for prioritizing those tasks. Despite being occasionally sidelined, Evie still has plenty of great moments. By the end of the 20-hour campaign, we felt like we probably spent more time with her overall in side missions. Given their differences, we were disappointed with how similar Jacob and Evie were to play. They each possess three high-level abilities designed around their supposed strengths of combat and stealth, but the vast majority are identical. In 1868, London was a bustling, heavily industrialized city, and its train stations and factories feel like a different type of place from those that Assassin's Creed has visited in the past. At first, I thought it looked pretty ugly, but it slowly yields its charms. This great city is also well represented in a mechanical sense. Jacob's effort to free the people from the Templars who control it is accomplished by slowly building up a gang to overthrow them. Most of the activities in the open world outside of the side quests contribute towards chipping away at the enemy, and as a consequence, a lot of the optional activities feel more meaningful and less like filler. The campaign missions achieve something similar, with each target occupying a slightly different sphere of influence, including science, politics, and finance. It effectively conveys the idea of corruption and control being diffused across a complex system. Now, it all sounds rather serious, but Syndicate is also the silliest Assassin's installment in quite some time. From tracking down hallucinogenic orchids with Charles Darwin, to retrieving the lapdog of the Prime Minister's wife in the most dangerous part of London. Early on, you can dress Jacob up as Sherlock Holmes, don Cthulhu-inspired tentacle brass knuckles, and hunt down cult members with Charles Dickens. What's not to love about that? It's Syndicate at its most consistently engaging, eccentric, and playful, which makes the terrible ending all the more baffling. What were they thinking? It's entirely at odds with what the story has been about, mired in the dense lore that it spends the best part of 25 hours trying its best to forget about. Inside the mostly entertaining and lively packaging, however, what you're being asked to do feels very familiar. Missions almost always involve the traditional Assassin's Creed staples of stealing items or following, escorting, or killing people. The most prominent new mechanic is the grapple gun, and on the whole, it's well implemented and fun to use. You can't quite glide across the city like Batman, but it allows you to negotiate wider roads and reach London's higher rooftops with ease. When you're on the ground, carriages can be stolen at any time and provide a helpful way to cover more ground, since London is a third bigger than Unity's take on Paris. They're not that exciting, though. The latest iteration of Assassin's Creed Combat, on the other hand, looks fast-paced and attractive. It got a touch repetitive by the time we were through, though, and we wish we weren't forced to kill so many well-meaning police. And, if you're wondering if this is the year when Assassin's Creed finally fixes its long-standing problems with your character accidentally grabbing the wrong ledge or climbing the wrong wall, sadly it is not. But free running is as good here as it's ever been. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is the most fun that we've had with an Assassin's game since Black Flag. Apart from its ill-fitting conclusion, it never takes itself too seriously and delights in its strong protagonists, the rich possibilities of its Victorian setting, and a great new grapple gun. London really feels like a different type of city than has been featured in the series to date, and taking it back is great fun. For more on all things Assassin's Creed, stick with IGN.